Hi, my name is Rachel Dean and I um, work for an organization called InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. It's a national parachurch ministry um, in the States working with university students. Um, three things that are important to know about me or some things. Um, I'm currently in the process of moving. I've worked for InterVarsity for 10 years. In the past six years, I've lived in central Massachusetts. Um, now we're outside of Boston and to in the center of the state. And now I'm moving an hour north of Boston. I moved uh, the week before Christmas, I think it was, and I'm just couch serving. I'm currently with um, family down in Virginia um, and I'll be moving at the end of January. Um, I go all in in community and so I was on sabbatical last year here with family and so it feels like I'm coming home um while I'm here for the next 10 days um some of my current engagement with chaplaincy or hope for engagement um the previous school I worked um at uh, with university was a small catholic university um and I lived in a first year residence hall um and I served as a chaplain for a few athletic teams um, that went out of like the normative scope of my job for um, university staff, um, but I really enjoyed it. And um, I think in terms of like uh, university, uh, I just want to think more and practice more of what it means in terms of the syllabus, like principles of spiritual care, presence, and empathy. Um, while navigating pluralistic contexts, um, how to accompany people well in the long haul. Um, and also, it's my last quarter at Fuller. I'm in the MAGL program, and um, this is my third class with Dr. Glenn, so <laughs> I want to take a class with her. I have one other class I'm taking, um, and Carmen and I are in the same cohort, and so I want to take my last class with her. Um, the course reading this week, um, what's one takeaway? I think I have a friend who's going through kind of a faith crisis of sorts. Um, and I was reflecting on the Wesleyan quadrilateral of theological sources and thinking about the four categories and how it's really a privilege and a gift to be able to integrate all four, like if you have access to them, um, because Christians across the global church don't have access. But I just think about what it means to accompany my friend and like that he does have access and because of different circumstances he's like oh I'm not interested in different uh of the four um different categories at this point so I was just thinking about like who has access to all four and what that means um in terms of current hope for key theological miss missiological foundation um a premise that grounds or roots my chaplaincy um, I'm from a big family. I'm the oldest of nine. And so uh, in my particular family context um, and uh, who I am, there is something that is really important for me in my life of like being seen and um, yeah, being seen by God and noticed. Um, and I think that grounds my chaplaincy that people are like, feel seen and noticed and heard, um, just as Jesus sees and notices as near as them. So looking forward to learning with you all and learning from you all.